Okay, let's take a look of the second function. We have g of x is equal to 2x minus 6 over 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. And let's go ahead and find the domain first. Just like the previous example, we have to make sure that the denominator cannot be 0, right? So let me put this down right here. We are going to first make sure that the bottom, which is 2x squared minus 7x minus 4, this, we don't want it to be 0. And on the left-hand side, as we can see, we have an x squared, right? And the good thing is that we have a 0 on the right-hand side already. To solve this, we have to do the tic-tac-toe factoring, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let me just factor this out with the tic-tac-toe method. To get 2x squared, I need 2x times x. And let me think about what should I choose to get negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, right? And I'm going to put down the correct combination for you guys. I am going to put down minus 4 here and pass the 1 here. 1 times negative 4 will give me negative 4. And you see, the reason I put these numbers down in these places, it's because 2x times negative 4, we get negative 8x. And if we take 1 times x, we get x. And negative 8x plus x it is negative 7x. So that checks. Okay, so this is just the work. And now the factoring for this is 2x plus 1. That's the first one. And then the second one is x minus 4. This is the factoring. Be sure you still make this not equal to 0. And to continue, because we have a 0 on the right-hand side already, we can just put this down. 2x plus 1 not equal to 0. And the other one, x minus 4 not equal to 0. So let's minus 1 on both sides here. And we will have 2x not equal to negative 1. And then can divide both sides by 2. x cannot be negative 1 over 2. Okay? And then for this one, we add 4 on both sides. So x cannot be positive 4. And now we have two numbers that we cannot have for this function, right? And that's the domain. And let me just put this down right here. Domain. We use the set building notation again. It is x such that x cannot be negative 1 half. And the other one is x cannot be 4. And we close that. This right here is how we will present the answer for the domain. Okay, for the next one, we are going to calculate the value of g of negative 3. You see, this right here is telling us the x is equal to negative 3, right? So please plug in negative 3 into all the x, and let's see what do we get. On the top, well, let me just write it down right here again, g of negative 3. On the top, we will have 2, and this x becomes negative 3, right? And then minus 6 over 2 times the parentheses, negative 3. And be sure you use the parentheses right here when you plug in numbers, okay? And we have the square right here. And then minus 7 times the x, which is once again negative 3. And then we will minus 4 after that. Okay, on the top, let's see what we have. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then minus 6 is negative 12. Right? And then on the bottom, do this carefully. Or you can just use a calculator along the way if you would like. But you see, this right here, negative 3 squared it is going to be negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. So this right here is positive 9. Okay? And then you multiply by 2. So this is actually 18. Okay? And you see this right here, negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21. And then we minus 4. 18 plus 21 is positive 39. And then minus 4 it is going to be 35. Okay, so these numbers are for the bottom. And I don't think we can reduce. So therefore, this is it. It is equal to negative 12 over 35. Lastly, solving equation, g of x is equal to 0. g of x is that. So we put this down. 2x minus 6 over the denominator 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. This is equal to 0. Well, if you look at 0, we can look at 0 as 0 over 1. 
and we can do the cross product property again, right? So you see this times that, this times that. One times this is just one times that, which is two x minus six, and that shall be equal to zero times that. And you will notice something pretty easy because zero times this is just going to be zero, right? And on the left hand side we have just two x minus six. This just equal to zero. And here is the nice part about when we have a fraction equal to zero, we just have to worry about the top equal to zero. The bottom doesn't matter, okay? Anyway, from here, we can just add six on both sides as usual, and that's two x equal to six. And we can divide by two on both sides, so x is equal to three. And we are done. Domain and how to evaluate numbers and how to solve for the equation. That's it.